Guys, today I have for you the true best hybrid build which has ever been made in Division 2 game. Period, baby! This barbecue chickenness absolutely annihilates legendary difficulty and the reasons are really simple. DPS is kinda ridiculous with new gear and of course if you're gonna throw in the mix exotic assault rifle capacitor that's game over second reason utility baby because you have those gorgeous delicious disrupt grenades which can stop war machines drones dogs healing stations all that shenanigans on top of that your rocket launcher excuse me is kind of nasty as well you're gonna teach enemies how to fly goddamn MJ of Division 2 <laughs> and third thing of course team buffs you will provide your squad with skill damage and weapon damage and again on legendary difficulty that's must have and the main thing freaking survivability if you gonna correctly put all the pieces together you will survive everything this is the boss room at tidal basin legendary stronghold i can survive anything in this game and on top of that like i said dps utility <laughs> and team buffs as usual the one and only uncle butcher in the building and if you are into the crazy builds pv PvP life hacks, you know where you have to be. Butcherland is the answer, so don't waste your precious time. Hit that like, smash that sub, or leave a hateful comment. Come on, man. Don't sit on your ass doing nothing like these legendary enemies. <laughs> anyway, brother, like I told you before, I'm using new gear which we got with title update 16. And oh my goodness, title update 16. Well, at this point, I'm not surprised that the quality of updates are terrible. Man, they can't even give us apparel events on time, and even when they come, after all those delays, still missing items, problems with textures, and shit like that is kind of <laughs> typical day in office, I guess. Nothing is kind of surprising, but I was kind of pissed off with rewards we got by completing uh, new strongholds. Jesus. It's absolutely disrespect at maximum level. But before we continue, quick word from the sponsor, Diving.net. If you don't have enough time or good teammates, but you still want to have all the best items, then this set is for you. They have absolutely amazing team on consoles. They will complete your order super quick. They will save your time. You can check everything by yourself, but keep in mind right now with my promo code RBDIF which is down below in the description, you will have 15% discount on absolutely all services. Not only on Division 2 items, but on all services. It's an amazing deal. And if you have any questions, simply comment down below or contact the operator and he will tell you everything you need to know. But now let's get back to this legendary hybrid build, guys. And please, don't mix up Skill, pure skill builds with hybrid setups. This is best hybrid build period. I will make later on pure best skill build with maximum skill DPS or damage output. That's completely completely different story. Hybrid build is providing you with weapon damage, survivability, skill damage, utility. That's the reason why you call hybrid build. As you see on your screens right now, I am unkillable. I am damaging enemies. I am surviving all the drones. I have weapon damage. My skills will be all the time alive. This is pure magic. Man, I am magician of Division 2 or Godfather. No, I'm a ma magician. I do some crazy shit. I think I'm a magician. Anyway, brother. With not wasting your time at all, because it's precious, let's get into for specialization, we will use technician. And again, for hybrid setups, technician specialization is kinda must have. And don't get even started with survivalist specialization shit like that. Nah, 
we need that extra skill tier that will give us options to use armor or offensive core attribute in our build skill damage is must have disrupt grenades artificial hive is absolutely golden on legendary difficulty that will make our turret immortal it will sit there forever you can basically mm, leave there leave your toilet turret alone go drink some coffee go watch some adult uh, movies <laughs> for two minutes <laughs> anyway brother technician specialization is the way to go my main weapons here are police m4 because i love police m4 i know the test subject would give me more skill damage but i simply love police m4 so yeah and i still can destroy everybody for second weapon i'm using exotic assault rifle capacitor Occasionally I'm switching to Scorpio shotgun if shit will hit the fan Scorpio shotgun will save your ass and on uh, legendary difficulty a title basin you need shit ton of ammo to take down generators and for that reason I'm using exotic LMG bullet king bullet king has basically infinite amount of bullets and that will help me and i think that will help you as well to complete tidal basin so use bullet king in order to destroy those annoying fat generators who thought that this idea is good i don't know because honestly uh this these legendary strongholds are absolutely pure mob fest there is no new mechanics no challenges no new objectives shit ton of mobs that's it that's our new legendaries and if this is the content they will provide us in year five i'm shitting my pants right now god damn so three options and don't forget the main thing capacitor will provide you with one skill tier 7.5 percent extra weapon damage we have six skill tiers so 45 percent extra weapon damage by our capacitor and with full stack 60% skill damage baby for pistol use whatever pistol you want but I would recommend you to use instinct or future perfection for overcharge reasons for the year I'm using Empress International 3 piece this brand set will provide me with skill haste skill damage and skill efficiency absolutely the best way what to go with your skill hybrid builds and I'm using overwatch talent on my chest piece of course <laughs> and that's the funny story by completing title base you will receive this <laughs> I think this reward completely sucks and it's bugged out as well if you want to inspect it anyway brother I'm using overwatch in team play it's absolutely golden golden talent Skill damage, weapon damage to you and your teammates. Absolutely must have. You have kinetic momentum, but in team play, Overwatch will always be better option. If you are a solo player, use glass cannon. Simply use glass cannon for maximum DPS output. I can re-roll my talent on my chest piece I am, and I'm ready to rock. For attributes, hear me out. Listen me carefully, brother it's in your best interest you need skill damage and armor regen period best attributes to use on your hybrid or skill builds in general armor regen will provide you with survivability and of course skill damage is kind of must have if you are not using status effect builds armor regen skill damage period best attributes to use for holster i'm using new holster which again is kind of bugged out but hey it's still a good option because two pieces from new arcabus i hope i pronounced it correctly brand set will give us skill haste and one skill tier and that allows us to use that extra weapon damage from the holster and one more armor core attribute for survivability reasons and again memento backpack is absolutely the best for that reason because with full stacks you'll receive three percent armor regen that's a lot and if you thought that you can't get in team play trophies quite enough or efficiently you are wrong you can kill lots of enemies with this build you will get your trophies armor again will be on skill efficiency again will be increased from memento backpack and of course extra weapon damage and in mod slots 
protection from elites again is must have protection from elites in mod slots for gloves i'm using new brand set arcabus gloves again armor again and skill damage only piece which is not perfect in this setup is my empress international knee pads where i have skill haste and skill damage not a bad combination but again i would prefer that armor regen instead of skill haste for the skills story is really simple for legendary difficulty you can use drone and your assault turret but drone will die really quickly so what i'm using instead of drone is artificial high my Turret will be alive for a long time, but for heroic difficulty, of course, you can go with uh, uh, Turret and Drone, and also Stinger is nice option. Butcher drops the mic. Bye!